Hello everyone and welcome back to another video for OurCloudNetwork.com In this video we're going to look at creating some dynamic group memberships in the Azure Active Directory portal. In the last video we created the different types of groups in the Microsoft 365 Admin Center so today we're going to expand on that a little more. So we're starting off in the 365 Admin Center. We want to scroll down the left hand side and select Azure Active Directory. This will load in a new tab. On the left hand side click Azure Active Directory again and come down to Groups. We're going to create a new group and we're going to go through this together. So our group type is Security. Now in this portal you can create either Security Groups or Microsoft 365 Admin Groups. You cannot create Mail Groups in here such as Distribution Groups and Mail Enabled Security Groups. So our group name is going to be called UK IT Admins. We're going to leave our group description blank. It's this option here to be able to assign Azure AD roles. We're going to set this to no. Now if we set this to yes, we can't create our dynamic group roles. Now what this does, it's not like our security group works. So with a security group, the members of that group will have access to the resource that you apply it to. With Azure AD roles, it's the other way around. So you can say any members of the UK IT admin groups will get assigned a particular role in the Azure AD portal. For example, you could want all the users in the UK IT admins group to become the user administrator in the Azure portal. If that was the case, you click yes, and you come down to roles and you would assign the user administrator role to this group. So we're gonna select no, and we're gonna change our membership type to dynamic user. And we're gonna add a dynamic query. So this top line is ready for us. So we're gonna choose a property and we're going to change the department. The operator we're going to set to equals and the value we're going to set to IT because we want this to be applied to the IT group or the IT department. We're going to add another expression because there's more information we need from these users. So we're going to add expression. We're going to select the and operator because we want both of these to match for this group membership to apply. We're going to change the property to We're going to select country. Again, we're going to change the operator to equals and the value you're going to set to UK. Now, if we just click off that, we can see the rule syntax at the bottom. So this says if the user is part of the IT department and the country code is equal to UK, then include this user in this group. So let's click save and let's create the group. So we'll just give it a second here and refresh and our group should appear in the portal. There we have it. So let's open our group and we're going to come down again to dynamic membership rules because we want to validate who this is applying to or if this is, apl is applying to a particular user. So let's go to validate rules and click add users and we're going to select my account, so Daniel, and click select. So we can see currently this um, this rule does not apply to, to, to this user. So we're going to see why. Now we can see that the first part of the rule applies, so the member is part of the UK IT department, but it's not to have the UK country code under the uh, country tag on their account. So we can click OK and we're going to go and find out why and make the relevant change. So we can go to users, and go to Daniel, edit Daniel, and come down to country or region. So we're going to select UK and we're going to click save. So now we can go back to our groups, find the group, go to dynamic membership rules, go to validate, add users, Daniel, and select. So we can still say it's still not applying. So let's go back and work out why. So everything seems to be in order here. This may be the issue here because the account is existing and it takes a little while to update. So in this instance, let's create a new user and test our theory. So let's just follow the default information here. We're going to create the new user, Chris Green. 
we're going to set his job type, uh, his department to IT, and click Create. We're going to go back and edit Chris Green and change his country or region to UK. The user, and let's go back to our groups. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to validate the dynamic membership rules with Chris's user account. Let's go Chris and go select. So now we can see that Chris's details is valid. He is part of the UK country code and part of the um, IT department. Now this proves a couple of things. Creating new users, the membership rules will apply straight away. Now with existing users making changes, the group memberships will only sync every 24 hours. Which is a bit of a caveat, so you will have to wait if you have an existing user and you make an existing change. So there you have it, that's how you create dynamic groups in Azure Admin Portal. You can create um, as many different rules and be as clever with it as you can. Um, if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. Leave any comments below with queries, I'll always try and help out. And make sure you head over to our blog, ourcloudnetwork.com.